the National Aquatic Centre, better known as the Water Cube, is the world's largest Olympic swimming venue. Here in the summer of 2008, 44 gold medals were won and 25 world records set. Now it's being repurposed as the Ice Cube, the curling venue for the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. It will be an unprecedented feat in the history of the Olympics. This is the bottom of a swimming pool. A convertible steel structure has been built that can bear a load of 1,000 kilos per square meter with a deformation of less than three millimeters. The 2,680 steel frames support all the weight above, which is essential for turning the swimming pool into a curling venue. The nuts at the bottom of the steel frames help stabilize the structure. Using a removable support structure like this for the Winter Olympics has never been done before. Precast concrete slabs are then laid on the steel frames. A waterproof layer, an insulation layer, a moisture proof layer, a skid proof layer and ice making pipes with a total length of 34 kilometers are laid on top of the precast slab surface. The next step is the most important process, ice making. The outdoor integrated skid mounted ice making unit can be moved as a whole to any location. Refrigerating materials are transported into the ice making pipes through pre-laid pipelines. The ice making pipes are carefully watered 40 to 50 times, forming a 2 mm thick ice layer each time. After 10 days, an 8 cm thick ice ring appears at the venue. In just 20 days, the water cube is turned into the ice cube. All the components of the ice making process can be disassembled at any time, like building blocks. This is the world's first Olympic venue to achieve a water to ice conversion. In the future, it will switch freely between water and ice. A blue water cube will be turned into a white ice cube as part of China's efforts to hold a green Olympics.